This week we celebrate the Corpus Christi. Let us begin our prayer in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. It's really a, a great celebration to really stop and think about the body and blood of Christ because as we told us in the seminary, you are what we receive. We receive the body and blood of Christ. So it's truly a gift from heaven. So as we begin, let's reflect on the importance of always staying close to our God. We are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us for the sin we have committed. Bring each one of us home to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. We glorify God as we pray. Glory, Glory to, to God, God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of goodwill. Good we, we praise you. We bless you. We adore you. you we, we glorify you. you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sin of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in this wonderful sacrament has left us a memorial of your passion, grant us, we pray, so as to revere the mysteries of your body and blood, we may always experience in our lives the fruits of your redemption, who live and reign with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Remember how for 40 years now the Lord your God has directed all your journeying in the desert so as to test you by affliction and find out whether or not it was your intention to keep his commandments. He therefore let you be afflicted with hunger and then fed you with manna, a food unknown to you and your fathers, in order to show you that not by bread alone does one live, but by every word that comes forth from the mouth of the Lord. Do not forget the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, that place of slavery, who guided you through the vast and terrible desert with its seraph, serpents, and scorpions, its parched and waterless ground, who brought forth water for you from the flinty rock and fed you in the desert with manna, a food unknown to your fathers. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to be to God. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Praise, Praise the, the Lord, Lord Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Glorify the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion, for he has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children within you. Praise, Praise the, the Lord, Lord Jerusalem. Jerusalem. He has granted peace in your borders. With the best of wheat he fills you. He sends forth his command to the earth, swiftly runs his word. Praise, Praise the, the Lord, Lord Jerusalem. Jerusalem. He has proclaimed his word to Jacob, his statutes and his ordinances to Israel. He has not done thus for any other nation, his ordinances he has not made known to them. Alleluia. Praise, Praise the, the Lord, Lord Jerusalem. Jerusalem. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the cup of blessing that we bless, it is not a participation in the blood of Christ. The bread that we break, it is not a participation in the body of Christ. Because the loaf of bread is one, we, though many, are one body, for we all partake of the one loaf, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Jewish crowds, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever, and the bread that I will give you is my flesh for the life of the world. The Jews quarreled among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him on the last day. My flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him. Just as the living Father sent me, 
and I have life because of the Father, so also the one who feeds on me will have life because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Unlike your ancestors who ate and still died, whoever eats this bread will live forever. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. You know, it's funny how sometimes I think about, well, what am I going to tell for the joke? Well, the other day, a police officer gave me the following. A fellow bought a new Mercedes and was out on an interstate road for a nice evening drive. The top was down, the breeze was blowing through his hair, and he decided to see how fast he could go. As the speedometer climbed to 80 miles per hour, he suddenly saw a flashing red and blue light behind him. There ain't no way they can catch a Mercedes, he thought to himself, and he went faster. The needle hit 90, 100, 110, finally 120 with the lights still behind him. He suddenly came to his senses. What am I doing, he thought, and he pulled over. The police officer walked up to his window, took the, his license without a word, examined it, and then examined the car. I've had a tough shift, and this is my last stop. I really don't feel like more paperwork, so if you can give me an excuse for your driving that I haven't heard before, you can go. Last week, my wife ran off with a cop, the man said, and I was afraid you were trying to give her back. <laughs> Have a nice day, said the smiling officer. Well, I'm sure he won't admit to giving me that, but nonetheless, that's it. Uh, interesting, Feast of Corpus Christi, how important it is that we realize who we are. A while ago, I read about um, the redwood trees of California. It was quite a few years ago. And um, the article was saying how some of them are over 300 feet high. I've seen pictures, but I can't imagine what that's like. And some of them are over 2,500 years old. And the one picture I saw, there was a, um, a car was driving through. They somehow hollowed out some of the bottom of it and a car was driving through the actual redwood tree. That's how humongous this thing was. But the audit went on to say that we might think, as I assumed, there was this massive root system going hundreds of feet underground. If you ever had to uh, get a tree out and try to pull it out and then get a, um, be able to get a stump grinder, you know that some of those roots go down pretty far, and they're really a pain to get out. But again, going back to, you think these massive trees, they go way, way down, but the truth is, they don't. They have a very shallow root system. But all the roots are intertwined under the surface of the earth. They're locked to each other. So, when the storms come, they're not alone. All the trees support and hold each other up. Think about that. They support and they hold each other up. And to me, that's really what the church is supposed to be. That's who we are supposed to be. Not being critical, not finding faults and flaws of others, but rather holding each other up when the storms of life hit us. And we know that they do. We know the storms of life come upon us. It happens through problems in families, comes through um, issues with, um, you know, things happening with the kids a lot of times, comes through death in a family, but we're really supposed to be here for each other. So if you haven't really thought about those redwood trees, I ask you to think about that because it truly is an example for all of us to follow. God bless. We believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We offer these petitions. For the Church, the body of Christ, May we deepen our devotion to the Eucharist. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parish community on the Feast of Corpus Christi, 
May we receive Christ's love, mercy, and forgiveness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all those who are sick, may they be comforted by Almighty God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all those who live in want, may Jesus, the bread of life, be their sustenance and bring them mercy, hope, and faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, may they come to share in Christ's re resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And we ask all of this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Bless you to your Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness, read this bread to give you which earth is given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed be you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness, read this wine to give you fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Friends, let's pray that our gifts will be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of God's holy church. Grant your church, O Lord, the gifts of unity and peace, whose signs are to be seen in mystery, and the offering we appear present through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. For at the last supper with his apostles, establishing for all ages, the coming, the saving memorial of the cross. He offered himself to you as the unblemished lamb, the acceptable gift of perfect praise. Nourishing your faithful by this sacred mystery, you make them holy so that the human race, bound by one world, may be enlightened by one faith and united by one bond of charity. And so we join our loved ones in heaven as we pray this hymn of an ending praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. <coughs> the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, death the Lord, and, and profess your resurrection until, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Joseph our Bishop. Remember Constantino Bocci, Tom and Marita Burke and daughter Beth, Joseph B. Agio, Anne and Rudy Biscontini, Frederick C. Melvin, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection for all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We pray as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait with joyful hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom the power, and the, power, and the glory, glory are yours now and, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not in our sin, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the peace of our Lord be with each one of you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world, blessed all those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Grant, O oh Lord, we pray that we may delight for all eternity in that share in your divine life, which is foreshadowed in the present age by our reception of your precious body and blood, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. May God's blessing truly guide us on this journey. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.